little over a month in Australia, there was hardly any hype and hoopla surrounding the Cricket World Cup compared to AFL, which is immensely popular in this part. Cricket comes a distant third after soccer. In sharp contrast, the excitement and the buzz surrounding the season's first F1 race was unbelievable. One would have missed the excitement if they were not at the South Bank. The two huge giant screen installed for the fans to soak in the atmosphere by the side of Yara River with a bottle of beer. All across the river bank, stalls of different teams were put up for fans coming from a long distance walking. No worries as two beautiful young girls from Thailand are at your service giving massage for free. Although with it, juices come as a complimentary. Just as it started to be midday, all roads in Melbourne CBD led to Albert Park. With free shuttle tram and bus services to and fro Albert Park is ensured fans get the best possible opportunity to reach the venue for the season's first F1 race. As you enter the venue, you'll be left dumbstruck to see the atmosphere. The park which is spread over a few acres of land is transformed into an empty theater. The teams have put up the stalls to sell their merchandise. As you walk across the park, a sight that will catch your attention as it is the legend's land. From Ayrton Senna, Michael Schumacher to Mark Webber, all the greats in F1 feature in it as a mark of respect. There is no shortage of entertainment for fans though. From gaming playstations to a ride in a helicopter for a couple of rounds over the circuit, fans have it all. But the most unique and perhaps the memorable moment for the fans came when they got an opportunity to walk over the track immediately after the presentation ceremony. Nowhere in the world can you find that the fans been given an opportunity to walk over the track. Such a sight it is. As you can see, thousands and thousands of fans from different countries with the national flags rejoicing as they walk out of the park. Based on its masterclass at Albert Park on Sunday, as a reduced teammate, Nico Rosberg, when also ran in an identical Mercedes Benz and left Sebastian Vettel more than 30 seconds behind in his first start for Ferrari. No one will trouble him for the crown. Rosberg will have days and Vettel might trip into a win for the championship is Hamilton's to lose. And Daniel Ricciardo, yes, he was there and finished sixth at the flag, but Red Bull Reynolds is in a lot of trouble and is facing a very tough year. The 20th Australian Grand Prix was easily the worst in the history of the Melbourne race, with the smallest GP since 1982 and a boring event that never produced much excitement. The best action was the banter with Arnold Schwarzenegger on the podium and then as Roseburg and Vettel shared jokes and vibes in the post-race press conference. After his seventh win from his past eight years, Hamilton had little to say. He hinted that things might get tougher but was really only being diplomatic.